Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter, Nate Thurman, who is the collector level reward for 1950 cards collected here in NBA 2K24, my team. I actually do think this card is going to be really, really good. A top tier power forward option with a lot of versatility, who does a lot of things at a very elite level at the five or at the four or the five really before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button help me push towards the twenty-five thousand subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it mr thermit at 6 11 at center is looking really really good mess shout out to my boy anthony for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay really appreciate that a ton and yeah mr Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Nate is 98 offense, 99 defense, coming with a 6'11 height, 98 driving layup, 98 close shot, 97 mid range, 85 three ball, 80 free throw, 98 standing and driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 90 pass sack. Defensively, absolutely exceptional, phenomenal rebounder, super fast for a big as well, 94 speed, 93 speed ball, 90 excel, 98 vert, 97 strength, 98 stamina, 95 lateral weight. This card looks phenomenal on paper 38 hoffs include really most of the hall of fame badges outside of shooting badges that you would possibly ask for um i mean he pretty much comes with and then on gold i mean everything else pretty much he's got gold binders catch limitless range handles for days and pluckable pick dodger all that type of stuff so he comes pretty complete even in a base card you can add comeback kid agent three slippery off ball like he did uh, also dead eye would be a good one to consider in spot finder but overall i do actually think this nate thurman card is going to be excuse me really really good um for a couple reasons. Number one, he's a 6'11 dude with a really big player build. Number two, he's got Jamal Murray's behind the back at an elite level drag back. Number three, his release is absolutely cash. Jonathan Isaac Bass, base, Clay Thompson upper on very quick. Really smooth, easy release. He's got a great same side burst. He's super fast and athletic at the four. This card is basically what that Moses Malone was, except a much better version. He's that Moses Malone with better SIGs and better animations. And overall, I do think he's going to be just a truly phenomenal card. Kyrie dribble style and everything. I mean, pretty much everything you could ask for there a spinning 360 dunk you just did right there was kind of nuts by the way uh but yeah i mean honestly this card looks looks serious at the uh center spot at a very minimum is that pro 2 fade oh my no they made this nate thurman card crazy souped you batch him up fully he is absolutely ridiculous this card is unbelievable i'm excited to hop into a game and see what nate thurman can do he looks elite let's hop into a game let's check out mr thurman hero smooth has steve nash at the one harden at the two Allen Houston at the three, Dino Raja at the four, and Bosch, or sorry, Bosch at the four, and Dino at the five. He's got some good cards on his team, and then he's got some not so good cards. Nash and Bosch, especially, are two guys who I think he should be looking to replace. Slide hard into the one, Houston to the two. Keep Dino at the five and add a couple of guys to the three and the four, and I think you're going to be sitting just fine. But right now, with the way his team is, not exactly ideal. Uh, excuse me let's see what we can do with mr thurman though obviously he is an elite level catch and shoot, shoot well he has the potential to be an elite level catch and shoot shooter i'm not sure he's quite an elite level catch and shoot shooter yet but uh he's a really good card and that may be his only like kind of flaw is just that his shooting stats and badges are not that incredible nice backdoor cut there and dino knocks down that dunk gets that one to go and ties up the game at two um i just think this card has legit playmaking ability off the dribble he's one of the best interior defenders and finishers in the game release is super smooth straight up and down and absolutely cash money very easy to time he's got Kyrie dribble style great sigs and elite drag back and elite behind the back like there's almost nothing to really nitpick at even about this nate thurman card although he did get slip behind there by Bosch and does foul so I guess he's not perfect but I just think this card I mean collector level is still it's not gambling but it still is kind of unattainable without spending a bunch of money like he's 1950 cards collected is how you get this Nate Thurman card and that's no like easy amount to collect i wouldn't say that's something that the vast majority of the community has at the same time he is a really good reward that at least is guaranteed and i think that is i mean that's at least something right uh he's also got tray escape Kyrie dribble style pro 2 fade like sigs on this card are nuts even if i don't shoot that well with him in this game um sigs are really really good animations are crazy for a six foot 11 power forward uh and then with a super smooth release as well and again being about as good athletically as a rebounder and as a defender as you're going to get at the four in my team like this card has a lot of value and is really really good in a lot of ways catch and shoot again another mid-range and he misses it i smoked that so badly on uh, a freaking oh, wide open slightly late mid-range that's embarrassing and i didn't click on a contest there and all of a sudden we are getting popped oh no this is not good i should be winning this game easily i feel like and all of a sudden i'm down 11 to 4 time 
to lock in and clutch up, Mr. Thurman. Great screen, and I missed the three ball with freaking Shea. Oh, my goodness. This is a bad game. This is just a really bad game against a terrible team, too. We are down by five right now. Not going well. Why is Steve Nash trying to cook me? Oh, my goodness. I almost got cooked. They're all right, though. Run the floor. We're going to be fine. We're going to run the floor. Dump it down to D-Rob. Easy standing dunk. We'll take the assist. I think we can come back in this game. We're down five. We started this game absolutely terribly, yes. But I 100% of the belief that we can come back. Contest that fade. Beautiful. Get a board. And let's run the floor now. Let's start to get things going. Um, pick and pop again, Mr. Mr. Thurmond. Attack this way. I could have probably shot that. But we're going to... I'm trying to still get Nate Thurmond involved. I should just slip him on, honestly. Shouldn't I? Slip in front. Catch. Standing dunk. He's an elite finisher as well. And he finishes that one at the rim. Very, very nice. And now it's a three-point game. Two and a half minutes left. Plenty of time. Yes, we were down 11 to 4, but I think we have plenty of time. And honestly, I think we got plenty of skill to come back and win this game as well. X switch this, play the corner. He runs out of bounds. I don't know what he thought was going to happen there, but I don't. He just straight up ran out of bounds. And all of a sudden, this is starting to look real sketchy for our opponent. Same side burst, SGA. I messed it up. That's all right, though. We'll reset the ball, I'll drive the ball again. Back up top. Hit it over to Mr. Thurmond. Thurmond here. Back this way. Oh, my goodness. Nate, yo, this Nate Thurmond card is tough. Look how he moves. Oh, my goodness. Trey escape. Kyrie dribble style. Um, great behind the back. Jam or Jamal Murray behind the back. Really elite drag back. Like, this card is insane at the center, at the power forward center position. Incredibly elite sigs. Great release. And super complete stat and badge wise. <coughs> I don't think I could ask for anything more at the power forward position, to be honest. I wish I could get this card. I'm still over 300 cards away from collecting him, and I will not, I don't think, be getting him anytime soon, unfortunately, because I haven't been playing the game nor spending money on it. But um, if I could get this Nate Thurman card, I'd be excited about it because he's an amazing card. Honestly, got to give 2K a little bit of props for at least making collector level decent the last couple seasons between this uh, Thurman card and Grant Hill last season. And obviously, Dark Matter Kobe is coming at some point as the ultimate collector level reward. I assume that'll be sometime this season or at the very latest next season. Um, so going to be interesting to keep an eye on that to see what happens there. But nice backdoor cut. Thurman again gets the dunk to go. He's up to 11 points and we finally taken the lead. Play the dribble drive here. Contest the fade. He is rattled now. This should have been an easy blowout win from the start to be fair. But now it's looking like it's going to be the blowout win that it should have been all the way along. All along I should say. And open free throws here. Oh, Thurman has the Larry Johnson free throw release, so that's an easy free throw. A nice, quick, easy free throw release. Definitely not a problem there. Misses the second one, though. is really tough. That's disappointing. But uh, three-point lead with a minute 11 left. Wall up on the inside again. Grant Hill gets a stop. Run the floor. Throw it up here. Thurman, pick and pop. Drag back. Attack this way. Pat, had our pop again. Um, uh, yet again, we're going to reject the screen, and I messed up the tray escape that time. But we're going to get ourselves an assist anyway because he is he's rattled at this point. He is really, really rattled. Uh, um, slashing take with 53 seconds left. Click on, contest, move laterally, play this, move laterally again, uh, X switch this, play the slip, play this. Oh, that's a good lob. That's a really nice lob, actually. Three point game with 43 seconds left. One bucket here pretty much secures it. Uh, I got slashing take, but I'm going to try to get myself a three ball off if I can. If I could just get Chris Bosch to help a little bit. I did, he didn't touch the screen. That's the problem. I need uh, I needed Nash to touch the screen there so that I could get Bosch involved. But drive the ball and make a fading pull-up mid-range 37% contested. Just really tough shot. Only reason I went up with that was because slashing take. And somehow we greened it. So you know what? I'll take it. He hits a bucket there, but 21 seconds left. I think it might be too little too late at this point. We might have we might have just won ourselves the game. Um, oh, he's going to foul. Okay. As long as I hit my free throws, we're still going to win this game easily. Um, as I say that, I shoot a horrifically early free throw and miss. Just make the second one. Cool. Green the second one. We're good. He misses this shot. We win the game. Honestly, as long as he doesn't get a four-pointer, we win the game. And I don't think he's getting a four-pointer off. So we will not be letting that happen. I do not believe. Um, step up here. Contest. You're, we're not, you will not be getting a four-pointer off, my friend. Not at least a good shot. We'll take that. And that will do it for this game. Not our, like, greatest performance against, admittedly, not a very good team. We put ourselves in a big hole early in this game, but Nate Thurmond helped to lead us right out of that hole. So, very solid performance, all things considered by Thurmond. 14 points, one rebound, two assists. Really, really good performance. And honestly, like I said, I don't think I played all that great. So, he deserves a lot of credit for that. Switch, contest, click on, contest again. And we really dominated the second half of that game. 14, 1, and 2 on 6 of 8, 1 and 2 from 3. Nate Thurmond is an absolute beast. Easily one of the very best power forwards and centers, honestly, in the game. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.